हेलो माय डियर क्यूरियस एंड स्टूडियस स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सर्जरी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेश चौधरी आई एम वार्म वेलकमिंग यू इन माय सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज दिस सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज कंटेंट्स एंटायर सर्जरी विथ एनेसेशिया विथ रेडियोलॉजी विथ ऑर्थोपेडिक सो स्टेट यून विथ अस लेट स्टार्ट आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन माई सर्जरी लेक्चर नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव दैट इज द एक्टोपिक टेस्ट इज एंड वेरिकोसिल इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू वी विल लर्न द एक्टोपिक टेस्ट इज पोजिशन ऑफ द एक्टोपिक टेस्ट इज कंपेरिजन बिटवीन द अनडिसेंडेड टेस्ट इज एंड द एक्टोपिक टेस्ट इज टॉर्शन ऑफ द टेस्ट इज और टॉर्शन ऑफ द स्पर्मेटिक और एंड इट्स ट्रीटमेंट वेरिकोसिल इट्स कॉजेज सिम्टम्स कॉम्प्लिकेशन एंड द इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द वेरिकोसिल ऑल पॉइंट विल कवर इन दिस लेक्चर सो स्टार्ट विथ मी द एक्टोपिक टेस्ट इज एंड एक्टोपिक टेस्ट इज इज वन विच इन विच द टेस्ट इज फेल्स टू डिसेंड इन टू द स्कोटम एंड इज डेविएटेड फ्रॉम इट्स नॉर्मल पार्थ ऑफ द डिसेंट इट इज बाय फार मच लेस कॉमन दैन अनडिसेंडेड टेस्ट इज एंड एक्टोपिक टेस्ट इज इज एंड अदरवाइज अ नॉर्मल टेस्ट इज बट एंड अनडिसेंडेड इज is often underdeveloped according to the lockwood the gavernaculum test is has five tails one is the scrotal tail which is the main ones pubic tail attached to the pubic tubercle third is the perineal tail attached to the perineum and fourth is the inguinal tail attached to the front of the inguinal canal and fifth is the femoral tail attached to the saphenous opening the scrotal tail is the strongest and the other tails normally disappears and that is why the test is normally descends to the scrotum In case one of the four necessary tails becomes stronger the testis is drawn towards the attachment of that tail and then the testis is called ectopic testis now the position of the ectopic testis are superficial inguinal pouch pivo penile ectopia perineal ectopia crural or femoral ectopia first we will see the superficial inguinal pouch this is the commonest type the testis lies lateral to the superficial inguinal ring in the plane between the aponeurosis of the external oblique and the membranous layer of the superficial fascia fascia of the scarpa that is this is due to the pull of the inguinal tail second is the pivo penile ectopia this is the extremely rare the testis lies in front of the pubis at the root of the penis it is due to the pull of the pubic tail third is the perineal ectopia the testis lies in the superficial perineal pouch that is under the fascia of the colis and the between it and the superficial perineal muscles a swelling is seen in front of the anus on one side of the midline it is due to the pull of the perineal tail crural or the femoral ectopia the testis lies at the roof of the thigh near the fossa ovalis saphenous opening it is due to the pull of the femoral tail dear students here is the image showing the normal course of the testis that is the abdominal inguinal and supra scrotal and here is the ectopic side that is the prepenile superficial ectopia ectopic transverse scrotal femoral and the perineal side of the ectopic side of the testis now here is the same picture is showing the original position of the testis path of the descent normal position of the testis and the scrotum the intra abdominal at the site of the internal ring then canaliculi then external ring superficial ring and then in the scrotum now the comparison between the undescent testis and the ectopic testis are and in the undescent testis the testis is arrested in its normal path of the descent where the testis derivates from its normal path of the descent that is the ectopic testis in the undescent testis undescent testis is usually undeveloped and the testis is fully developed in the ectopic testis this is the main and big difference scrotum is not developed on that side and empty in the undescent testis and in ectopic testis though empty the scrotum is usually full developed in the undescended testis the length of the spermatic cord may be short where the length of the spermatic cord is usually longer in the ectopic testis the spermatogenesis is poor after 6 years of the age in the undescended testis where the spermatogenesis is perfect and complete in and normal in the ectopic testis undescended testis may be associated with the indirect inguinal hernia in the undescended testis where this is the never associated with the indirect inguinal hernia in the ectopic testis treatment of mainly operation through uh, hormone therapy may be tried in the skeletal cases operation is not at all successfully after puberty in the undescended testis where the treatment is operation and is usually successful in the ectopic testis this is the comparison between the undescended testis and the ectopic testis now the torsion of the testis and or the torsion of the spermatic cord torsion of the spermatic cord or torsion of the testicle is an uncommon condition which is limited to prepubertal males the importance of this condition lies in the fact that it causes strangulation of the blood supply to the testis and unless it is treated within 3 to 4 hours 
testicularly atrophy is inevitable predisposing factor for the torsion of the testis are inversion of the testis long meconium in this case the body of the testis only rotates without involving the spermatic cord that means the torsion of the testis occurs without torsion of the spermatic cord third predisposing factor is the undescended testis or ectopic testis high investment of tunical vaginalis it causes the testis to hang within the tunica vaginalis which may initiate ro rotation a voluminous tunica vaginalis this also gives adequate space to the testis to rotate it should be one in mind that the abnormality which causes torsion is usually bilateral dear students here is a good picture showing the normal testis and the uh, abnormal fixation with torsion the spermatic blood supply and the testicular sub blood supply is uh, fixed and uh, torsion is there this is the animated picture showing the torsion with decreased blood supply of the testis the rotation mal rotation of the testicular arterial and venous system now the initiating factors are spasm of the trimestric muscles which inserts onto the cord obliquely seems to be the main initiating factor during contraction of the abdominal muscle the cremastic muscles also contracts contraction of this muscle causes the left testis to rotate anti clockwise and the right testis clockwise contraction of the cremastic occurs at the time of the straining at stool lifting heavy weights and coitus during the coitus it must be remember that torsion also occurs during the sleep and is most instances there is a congenital abnormality either in the descent of the testis or in the tunica vaginalis or in the spermatic cord now the pathology of the torsion of the testis are torsion usually occurs from the, within the outwards that means the left testis rotates anti clockwise and the right testis rotates clockwise with the vascular occlusion which occurs in torsion there is a edema of the testis and the cord up to the points of the occlusion gradually it leads to gangrene of the testis and epididymitis now the clinical features history and age torsion most commonly seen between the 10 to 25 years of age as there is a cause of the congenital the second most common incidence is seen in during infancy symptoms patient suddenly complains of severe pain in one testicle or in the groin the pain is sudden and agonizing it completely descended testis diagnosing in rather easier but in completely descended testis it is difficult to differentiate it from a strangulated inguinal hernia local examination the scrotum is swollen and tender normal or red and edematous elevation of the scrotum usually relieves the pain in epididymo or coitus but increases the pain in torsion of the spermatic cord pyrexia with the slight leukocytosis is there now the magnetic resonance imaging mri the twisted stuck of the testis and thickened proximal spermatic cord of the testicular torsion are well revealed by the mri in torsion the epididymitis and the orchitis mri is used in preference to the ultrasonography as the latter requires manipulation of the scrotum which is the extremely painful now even in the wrong diagnosis surgical exploration will not do any harm but waiting for making correct diagnosis may lead to death of the testis now the treatment if the patient comes to the surgeon early manual detorsion may be tried left testis should be screwed where the right testis should be unscrewed detorsion will relieve pain immediately so this is a good index to know that the maneuver has been correctly performed by the surgeon otherwise pain will increase if the maneuver is incorrectly done even if torsion is successful surgical fixation of the both testis should be done within the next few days if manual detorsion detorsion fails immediate surgical exploration should be performed if the testis is variable it must be fixed so that the torsion does not recur if the testis is obviously dead and black it must be removed it is always advisable to fix the opposite testis in the same fashion at the same sitting and the third point is the opposite testis must be fixed as early as possible orchidectomy of the affected testis is justified now the prognosis if detorsion is done within the 12 hours of the onset the result is good with 100% success if detorsion is done torsion from 20 uh, 12 to 24 hours after torsion has occurred recovery is possible in majority of the cases detorsion can be advised even from 24 to 36 hours but preservation is doubtful now the next point of this lecture is the varicocil varicocil means the varicosity of the veins of the spermatic cord the vein become dilated elongated and the tortuous the vein of the spermatic cord include the pompiform plexus that is the testicular vein and the cremasteric veins occasionally the testicular veins may be normal but the cremasteric veins become varicose surgical anatomy veins of the spermatic cord includes three groups of the veins vein draining the testis and epididymis vein accompanying accompanying the vas deferens veins of the cremasteric muscles these are the three groups of the veins in the spermatic cord veins of the testis and epididymis which from the pompiform plexus is the most bulky constituent of the spermatic cord now here is the image you can see the 
pemphigus plexus vein groups are elong becomes elongated tortuous and dilated you clearly seen in the second image where the uh, image number first is the normal here is the second image showing the varicocele enlarged testicular vein in the open operation and this is the image showing the causes of the why the there is a left side is more prone for the varicocele on left side this is the anatomically diagnostically showing this image now the causes majority of the causes are idiopathic and no definite cause can be detected though valvular incompetence has been incriminated second cause is the tall thin viscerotic men are prone to develop this condition as the left testicular vein drains into the left renal vein at right angle as we see in the previous image some obstruction at the place of the drainage is expected sometimes the left testicular artery arches the left renal veins and may obstruct it this will lead to the obstruction in drainage of the left testicular vein and varicocele may occur fifth cause is the sometimes cremasteric uh, veins become dilated which freely communicate with the pemphigus plexus and drain into the inferior epigastric vein sixth reason sixth cause is the varicocele may be secondary to renal cell carcinoma of the left kidney the growth of the renal cell carcinoma blocks the renal vein by venous formation and prevents drainage of the testicular vein as the left testicular vein drains into the left renal vein now the pre dilatation of the left side in more than 90% of the cases the varicocele is seen on the left side the possible causes of the the left testicular vein drains into the left renal vein at right angle the total length of the testicular vein is more on the left side than on the right side in about 15% of the cases left testicular artery arches over the left renal vein and thus the obstruct it and hence the drainage of the left testicular vein the loaded sigmoid colon may press upon the testicular vein and cause varicocele due to the obstruction in drainage the left suprarenal vein also drain into the left renal vein and circulating adrenaline may cause constriction of the testicular vein at the site of drainage occasionally the left renal vein may pass between abdominal aorta behind the superior mesenteric artery in front and may be pre assured uh, pressurized by the by these two arteries which may lead to obstruction in its drainage and hence the testicular vein to cause varicocele of the left side in competent holes are more common in the left testicular vein these are the pre dilation of the left side why there is a, a varicocele is seen on the left side more now the varicocele and the spermatogenesis varicocele increases temperature in the scrotum and this seriously depresses the spermatogenesis to react the to the rise of the temperature on the left side of the scrotum the daughter relaxes the left side scrotum elongates in the natural attempts to overcome the rise of the temperature so left side of the scrotum hangs down clinical features history age it is more commonly seen in the young adults and climate here the climate is also depend it is more frequent and more troublesome in hot climates type of the individuals tall thin varico totic men are more often affected than short and fat individuals now the symptoms small and symptomless varicocele occurs one fourth of the normal men when the vein becomes large they may cause a vague dragging sensation and aching pain in the scrotum or groin now and a pain is due to the fact that the elongated scrotum can no longer support the testis and its full weight of is borne by the cord so there is a pain now the local examination this condition should always be examined in standing posture as the varicocele disappears as the patient lies down on inspection one can see the dilated veins also impulse on coughing the scrotum on the affected side hands lower than normal on palpation the dilated veins typically feel like the bag of worms if you feel it feels like the bag of worms impulse on coughing can be felt distinctly now the treatment conservative treatment and operative treatment two types of treatment for varicocele conservative treatment no treatment is required unless the varicocele is thought to contribute to infertility or is painful or so large as to disturb the patient scrotal support and reassurance of relieved discomfort operative treatment indication for the operations are varicocele is painful and is worrying the patient in spite of conservative treatment second indication for the operative treatment in the varicocele is the varicocele is so big as to disturb the patient when and third is the vein varicocele contribute to infertility fourth is the vein the testis hangs at an abnormally low level fifth indication is the vein this makes one medically unfit for any job now there is a cl classical operation for this incision is made up perform like inguinal hernia the spermatic cord is dissected out all the coverings of the cord are carefully split the vas deferens with its artery and two veins of the papillary blocks with nerve fibers are separated from the main mass of the varicocele two clamps are applied to the main mass of the varicocele above the below and gap of the 2 inches in between the affected veins are ligated and divided 
so that the intervening 2 inches of the main mass of the pemphiniform plexus is removed the clamp are then approximated and main mass of the pemphiniform plexus are tied to support remaining vessel plexus proximal and distal to the division and ends of the ligature are uh, tied together so that the upper end of the pemphiniform plexus lies in the close proximity to the distal end of the pemphiniform plexus and the testis is lifted up and this operation can be performed as a inguinal hernial operation and by the scrotal approach also the palomo operation also and the laparoscopic verrucosal ligation is also done in this operation this operation can be performed as a day care and it takes about 30 minutes to complete by the laparoscopic verrucosal ligation dear students here is the end of our surgery lecture number 65 that is the ectopic atexis and the verrucosal you can refer for clearing your concepts the video of the verrucosal operations uh, like uh, inguinal approach scrotal approach and paloma operation la and uh, laparoscopic verrucosal ligation on the youtube available you can refer there here is the end of our surgery lecture number 65 thank you